case for sure. Okay, well, the November election, here's a question for you. Will it be won in the courts? Nationwide, dozens of lawsuits have been filed in an effort to influence who can vote and how those people can vote. 12 News journalist Bram Resnick is at the Capitol with a closer look at Arizona's lawsuits that voters need to know about. Our swing state's courts have been very busy over the last year before anyone cast a vote. At least two lawsuits could affect our elections. I feel very strongly that you got to earn every vote. The winner of the White House could be decided by voters in just seven swing states. We're going to win Arizona. But the nation's courts could play a larger role in this election than at any time since the U.S. Supreme Court decided Bush versus Gore in 2000. By one count, at least 165 lawsuits have been filed since last year across 37 states. The suits challenge every detail of the November vote. More than 80 of those suits were filed in swing states. And here in Battleground, Arizona, 12 News tracked 11 lawsuits in just the last 10 months. I did see the people sitting over there with GoPros on their head, and that was a little weird. One ruling to watch? A Maricopa County Superior Court judge struck down safeguards against intimidation at the polls, declaring them unconstitutional. During the 2022 midterm election, people with video cameras recorded voters at ballot drop boxes. We'll come and we'll babysit polling sites because people have to misbehave if that's what we have to do to protect democracy. Armed men in tactical gear were on patrol. One pending lawsuit could prompt a post-election challenge claiming that non-citizens' votes decided a close race. A Trump-aligned legal firm wants a judge to order Secretary of State Adrian Fontes to release the names of 218,000 voters. Those longtime voters never verified their citizenship as required by Arizona law because of a 20-year-old glitch in the voter registration database. There might not be a ruling before Election Day. At the Capitol, Bram Resnick, 12 News.